Welcome back to another episode of Broken Mirror, guys. If you were here last week, you know that I painted the Audi. Some of you will probably remember that I was thinking about trying to wet sand and buff this whole side because there was just so much orange peel that I was just gonna have to sand the whole thing hard to try to make it look anywhere near decent. But what I decided to do was I took Sunday while you guys were watching last week's video and I ended up taping off that fender, this whole front end, this whole side, and I did the roof this back panel, this trunk, and this whole side all over again. I wish I took a picture, I forgot to, but the new paint came out way better. I would say the correction was only 10% of what it would have been. Now, the clip you just watched, you watched me sanding this thing. And to be honest, guys, this is probably gonna be a pretty quick video because I've been sanding this car, I think for three or four days now. I'm burnt, it's crazy. And here's all the pads I used, 2,000, 3,000, four, five, seven, and 10. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I touched the grill and ripped it apart and painted it again. On the thumbnail for this video, when I did the grill, when I put it on the car, I didn't mount it. Well, after I took the picture of the thumbnail, it fell off and scratched the whole front that I had just painted. So I just threw a new coat on that so it would look good after doing all this work. I didn't want that to stick out like a sore thumb. Anyway, right now it's already Friday, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get into this video, but what I would like to do is send you to a clip right now of the morning of the auction for the Kia Forte. Just don't judge me. I woke up very late, right before this thing started. I look real rough. Ozark had came out the night before, and of course I had to finish it until 3 a.m. So I'm looking really rough in that clip. But anyway, here's the Kia. Okay guys, so I just woke up, but I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to show you guys this. Here's basically what happened. Sunday, while you guys were all watching last week's video, I finally got a chance to run the Kia Forte up to the auction and now i'm waiting to see what it goes for it should be up here soon cross your fingers i'm like so anxious oh here it is let's see what happens bids at 32 33 oh come on four six seven eight come on sell pending oh that's it if sale 3800 okay the sale was accepted at 3800 bucks. I definitely wanted more. I think I had probably about 2300 in this car and months worth of work. The emotional stress that it's had on my chest. I am so happy to have this thing gone. Do I think I probably could have got a few hundred more? Probably. I brought the car in late, but what I don't think you guys ever got to hear, the engine was going. And I knew it, and you can hear it. You could hear the piston slap, the typical piston slap. So after I redid that head gasket, I noticed the rings on cylinder two, which was the leaky cylinder literally were loose. I could move the cylinder. So that was kind of why I stopped selling to the public. I wanted to make sure it was a dealer auction because any dealer who buys it, hears it, knows what it is. They're going to go through the process of fixing it. But selling to public one anyone who knows what it is is gonna lowball me to the point where i would have got like two grand or less probably what i bought the car for if that i'm happy the thing's done i have to drive up and drop off the title today and um hopefully get paid. Okay, so the Kia sold for 3,800. After fees, I think I got like 35, 65, I think was the final cut. This is what it is, it's gone. Uh, I got the cash finally into my account. This is a whole new realm for me. Uh, I'm no longer the only person fixing, selling, and buying the cars. I'm now having someone sell for me. I now have to wait for them to clear titles and clear my cash, so I no longer just have a cash handed to me. Been weird kind of giving over a lot of power that I had. I'm also trying to find a new flip, and that's kind of a little harder because where I used to sell at a retail value of almost beating some dealerships, to be honest, I now have to buy it at least like two grand under MMR. And MMR is like wholesale at auction for dealerships to buy and then sell and make two grand at their lot. So it's a whole new realm, whole new thing I have to start learning. I'm just trying to get it all done. But for now, I'm trying to get this car done. So I'm gonna get started buffing this thing and then hopefully we can start putting this thing back together finally.
Okay guys, it is like, I think I'm on five or six days working on this paint. I'm finally done. It's still not perfect. It's driving me nuts. My OCD is kicking in, but I can't do it anymore. I'm just over it. Uh, I'm burnt out, but these are the results. So right now, there's probably a little bit of dust over everything, but I just wasn't able to get some of the haze out. And I don't even know if you guys can see it. You'll probably see it when I get it out in the sunlight. I honestly don't even remember what the last thing was that I talked to you guys about. I think I mentioned that I ended up respraying this whole side along with the roof the same day that the last paint video came out. And I've just been trying to clean up all the trash that was in the paint. The one thing I've learned is if I'm gonna do paint, I now understand and the valuableness of having a paint booth and the vacuum of the dust going out. This was so much work. I've been buffing for three days, four days, and it's still not perfect. The hood is pretty good. It still could probably use another cut. The sides I'm guaranteeing will have some haze almost immediately as soon as I pull into the sun, but whatever, I'm done. Time to wrap this thing up, at least the exterior, get it for a drive and see if I can get this thing to pass smog. The interior will be next, um, but right now I just want to focus on getting all the parts back on the car. I have parts everywhere. I have taillights, headlights, front bumper, front grill, license plate holder, grill inserts. I just have little stuff everywhere and I have like no space to move. So anyway, I'm going to start with the headlights and we'll go from there. Okay, so I started putting on the headlights and I only had bolts for the left headlight. I don't know where the bolts are for the right headlight. Then I was gonna start tackling the taillights and I realized that almost all the bulbs are shot in my taillights. So I now have to wait for the taillight bulbs to come in. I just ordered a bunch of them off of Amazon. I think I need eight bulbs just for the brake lights. And then I need two reverse lights. I got some like high powered LED reverse lights. I got side marker lights and some driving lights in the front. So all the bulbs should be coming. I ordered a new headliner that we're probably gonna do next week, depending when that thing gets in. But for right now, I would like to rewire the brake light harnesses that I got from the junkyard. Since the one is completely corroded away, so you can see this thing is completely destroyed. So I definitely wanna replace this one. See, the only thing is, is this horrible wiring job. Maybe I will replace it just to make it cleaner and I know that there's not going to be any shorts. So yeah, I'm going to get started wiring these things up. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. Think of it this way, at least if you're subscribed, you know that you'll never miss a video. If you're not subscribed, you may never see me again. It would help a tremendous amount and it turns out that 68% of you aren't even subscribed that watch this channel and if you were subscribed, you would literally triple my channel. Also, if you haven't yet and you are enjoying the content, please hit the like button. It helps every week. Every time you guys do it, it really does help to get me out to new people and they see it and they enjoy it. So 
Please hit the like button if you haven't already. But for right now, I'm gonna start wiring up these brake lights. Okay, all the bulbs, not all the bulbs, but all the big bulbs that go into these lights have just come in. The rest, Amazon kicked back and said they should be in tomorrow. So hopefully I get here tomorrow. I would like to get this all finished. For right now, what I want to do is put in this little 10 pack that I picked up for nine bucks. The junkyard wanted four bucks a piece. AutoZone wanted eight bucks for two so about four bucks a piece and these guys wanted nine dollars for ten i don't know which one of these are bad or good i'm replacing all of them so i don't have to do this again for a very long time although all these look pretty good i may hold on to some of these Good news guys i am pretty dang stoked i found the bolts to the headlight so excited it was in an old n95 mask i think from the days of painting the forte i chucked them in here right after all the paint and i totally forgot about them and they've been up in that corner so i have literally been cleaning everything i even cleaned out my mustang of all old papers and just trying to find these things so finally i found them the reason why that's big is because i can put in the headlight now i can put on the front bumper then i could take this thing for a test drive and see how it's acting so it really was kind of a substantial part that i needed to figure out now in the future i plan on sheetrocking this whole wall painting it white putting up shelves everywhere so that i can kind of put parts where they belong and get really efficient on flipping these cars because this crazy mess of stuff all over my garage is very inefficient and i've wasted literally like a day looking for these bolts anyway so i'm gonna get putting on the headlight and then putting on the front bumper and then hopefully by the time I get this thing on, hopefully the rest of the light bulbs show up so I can put in all the fender lights and all the marker lights on the bumper. If they show up, I'm probably just gonna go right into putting those on as well. So either way, I'll see you guys in a bit.
my reverse lights. So the light bulbs came in right at like the last minute. It's like 8.30 right now at night. But I wanted to put them in. I wanted you guys to see everything. And they came out pretty good. I'm really happy. So everything mounted up pretty good. The only thing that's a bummer is this tab right here. It's still kind of out. Kind of has the rip on the top end. I think it re-ripped as I was putting it on. So I might be looking for like the quick disconnect. Like the racing bumper attachments for this thing. Didn't really want to do it. But I'd prefer that than this thing ripping and ruining the paint and everything that was happening the last time. The other side came out beautifully. Still a little weird spot right here. I don't know if you can see like that little line. There's a weird pull right there kind of pulling into the vehicle. But I was able to get the markers on. And honestly, I don't know what the point of those things are. If anyone can tell me, I turned on the lights and they came on for like one second and then that was it. I thought they would do more or like constantly be running. Maybe when I hit, put it in drive, then they go on. I don't know. If someone could tell me, I'm very curious as to how those work. Side marker lights, got the nice light bulbs for those. And then got all the light bulbs into the tail lights. I think you guys saw me buff these and polish them. Got the reverse lights. I kind of think they're a gimmick. They didn't seem that bright, but either way, pretty happy, pretty content with the whole thing. I wanted to, this episode, take it out and take it for a car wash, clean it up, then start tackling the interior. Just running out of time and I have to edit this video. So next week I will be doing the headliner that should be on its way and probably arriving like right as we get back. That'll probably be the next thing. And then I also want to install the stereo. I started wiring up the stereo just because I thought it'd be boring to you guys. And honestly, I'm kind of confused. I'm trying to use an old harness and part of a new harness and it doesn't really make sense. And then clean the interior, all of it. Might paint some of the plastics, I don't know. But if you guys haven't yet, please go down and hit the like button. Like I said, it really does help a tremendous amount for me to get ranked and other people to see me. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you then. Later guys.